Hello, welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I thought I would do another one of my um, sweet highlight videos. Um, and this time I thought we'd do Expressions in Ink because I have been absolutely loving this sweet. It is stunning. You will have seen it because it's featured on the front of the annual catalogue so you cannot miss it. It is like bold and in your face. Uh, but the actual sweet itself is on page... 96 and 97 um and it's just stunning the papers in here are so beautiful um there's a gorgeous stamp set lovely dies and a um what are they calling it uh, an ephemera pack as well so there's lots in this suite and it's at a really good price point so as with all the suites um if you want all the items in a suite there is one item code and it's at the top of the page. So you can't miss it. If you put that item code into my online shop, you will get the stamps, the dies, the papers and the ephemera pack. You don't need to put the other item codes in. You just need to do that one. So I think that's really cool because um, you're not going to miss anything, are you? But let's have a look at this suite. So you have got the artistically inked stamp set and I am going to make a card um, today I have got a mass, I've got a pile of enormous stack of cards I've made with this um, because it's just I I can't put it away um, I just love the kind of inky it's just really cool and the fonts are lovely and I could rant and rave about it all day can you tell so that's the stamp set then you've got the dies where you've got a couple of really detailed dies and some dies that cut out um, the images as well from the stamp set so i love that we're going to use that in a moment then oh i store my ephemera pack in my stamp set because it comes in like a plastic little plastic baggie and it just wasn't good enough for me really so i've put it in here um so it all everything all stays together um it is it's stunning so you've got a load of these sheets where you've got um like gold accents i'll show you a whole one and there, there's tissue paper between each one so they everything pops out really easily as you can see um so you've got like frames two different sizes and then gold leaves and details it's just stunning um, and a pack of our uh, sheet of adhesive backed sequins as well so that's all in there and like, like I said I keep that in my stamp set just to keep it all together um just so I know I know where it is then and then we've got the papers now these are absolutely stunning if you're watching this as this video I'm just trying to think of the dates when's this video going to go up <laughs> at the time of filming this is the designer series paper sale on um and it will still be on for like three or four days when you're what if you watch this when it goes live so it ends on, i think the third of august um this paper isn't included because it's got gold foiling on it all of the other designer series papers in the catalog are included for 15 percent off so do hop over to my online store if you're watching this kind of as it goes live and check those out but i have pulled half the pack out because um i've cut so much of this paper that the other half the, the pack's kind of in such little pieces i couldn't show you so I'm going to have to fold, like turn each page over, but can you can see, look at that gold foiling. And these, some of these papers are really handy because it means you can make a lot of cards using one sheet. So this paper is designed to be cut this way and then into sections to make card fronts. Um, and it's that on the back. Then you've got another kind of sort of um, alcohol ink-esque. Um, and it's, oh, that's the same page. Um, Yes, it is. And so that's the gold foiling on that side. So you've got the dots and the scent of the flowers and that on the other side. Then you've got this fabulous stripe that I just absolutely love. Love a stripe. Um, and it's pale papaya on the other side. How pretty is that? And that's got that on the other side with that beautiful gold on it. This is another one of those pages that's designed to be cut down the middle and then into sort of six pieces, the, the card fronts. Um, and it has that on the back. So you could also do exactly the same with that sheet. 
and then this one which is the same and has that on the back like these it's one of those pay one of those packs where usually i can go i like one side and not the other not in this pack i like them all they are all stunning talking of color combinations though there are a lot of colors in this suite let me just turn back to 90 96 and yeah 96 97 it the catalog shows you which colors are in this suite so you've got polished pink pale papaya just um pear pizzazz just jade shaded spruce and evening evergreen but loads of different color combinations work with it because of that gold in it so let me show you like this one this card here i've used that fabulous stripe but i haven't used really the colors in the suite um, I love this. Stamped and then over stamped and heat embossed. Just so pretty. Um, oh. This one with that lovely um, designer stitch paper. I've used one of those ephemera frames and the um, sequins on this one. This, which has been on my blog already. Um, with that lovely um, big die cut piece at the back. Love that. I'm going to take a little bit of inspiration from this the card today. This one, uh, where I've used a piece of gold foil um, behind that designer series paper and then layered on the top. Lovely. And this one, which I can't, you know, that's kind of all out that card, isn't it? But it's all out because of the designer series paper in the background. Just stunning again um ephemera pack piece at the bottom i haven't had any sequins on because i just thought that was enough and then this oh no two more so you've got that one again with that paper in the background i honestly can't put the paper away and then this one which we're going to take some inspiration from today um with that beautiful leaf die cut from gold and some um second generation stamping in the background so first of all color combination i've got for you today is not from the um cut the paper pack at all so i've got coastal cabana bermuda bay and polished pink i have um already cut and scored a card base in calypso coral and have cut a piece of wisp um, wisp white basic white um for my card front so let's get stamping first i do some stamping first then we're gonna do some die cutting um i'm kind of involved card today i've got to say so i'm going to use this lovely um image and then i want a couple of the floral images and those pretty dots too so let's just get these on some blocks like so and i have already gone ahead and um, stamped and heat embossed my sentiment i've used the happy birthday for this one but i didn't, i i tend to heat emboss off camera because it's just a little bit easier so I'm going to take that piece of basic white that I've cut for the front of my card base. And I'm going to take this image. And I'm actually going to take Bermuda Bay. I'm going to be really brave and go really bold. So I'm going to ink this up and stamp it near the bottom. And then up. And we're going to kind of generation stamp off all the way to the top isn't that pretty so pretty and it gets fainter and fainter and fainter as we go up the card just as a bit of a background then i'm going to take a piece of scrap whisper white and i'm going to take those flower stamps that we've got and I want one of the, oh, stamp that off and then stamp it. Yeah, that's, that's better. This is a very, very juicy ink pad. 
because it's so new. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's okay. Um, these are really detailed um, stamps. They are part of, I think, part of the distinctive range. Or well, maybe not. No, they're not making that up. They're just very, de very, very detailed um, images. So I've got those on a piece of a scrap piece of whisper white. Then I've got basic white. And then I've got another piece of basic white that I'm going to die cut this from. Now, this is such a detailed die that what I want to do is pop a piece of adhesive sheet on the back before I die cut. So I'm going to just trim grab a pair of scissors and trim down this piece of basic white Ooh. and then I'm going to take my adhesive sheet the adhesive sheets come in a pack like this and they're super handy for all of your um kind of really detailed dyes as you can see I know a little bit sun bleached because I have a really bright window in my craft room. Um, I'm getting a blind soon. I'm so excited. We've been in this house now for three years and I've still not got a blind on my window. Um, but it's coming. In August, I'm going to get a blind. I'm so excited. So, excited. Um, so we're going to cut a piece of a sheet that's a little bit smaller than the piece of basic white. Just like... that and then can you see there are some lines on this adhesive sheet and it means that you can take kind of split the backing so i'll take that little skinny bit off first and pop it pop my adhesive sheet onto my piece of basic white like so and then i can roll it back so as i take the next piece off I can she says it's much easier to do this when you're not on video of course um, <laughs> so that piece of basic white is now completely covered in adhesive so that when we die cut it it's going to be a sticker so I am going to grab my uh, big shot I'm going to run these through and I'll be back with you in a second Okay, so I've ran these through my stamping cut and emboss machine. So I've got four of the flowers in polished pink, but it is stamped off once, so it's a little bit fainter. And then I have got this die cut. So I'm going to pull the kind of excess off. And this, I have to say, is one of those, one of those die cuts where you may want um, a... I wish I could remember what it was called. A brush, basically, to get all the bits out because it is so super detailed. I haven't got one. Um, so I'm just going to quickly grab my um, stamping pick, which I also can't remember what it's called. My brain, it's Sunday when I'm filming this. And quite clearly, brain isn't on yet. <laughs> Not got warmed up. So I pull that out from there and you can see how super detailed that is. And we can just take all of the bits out of here. While I am talking to you though, um, while I'm doing this, the I just want to let you know that the brand new Stampin' Up! Uh, mini catalogue with all the Christmas goodies in it is coming out next week on the 3rd of August. Um, I have a stack of catalogues I haven't sent out yet. Um, if you want one, there is a form on my blog. I will link in the blog post um, that is linked to this um, video. So in the down bar below, there is a description box that links over to my blog and there will be a sign up form on that blog post. Um, I also want to let you know about a couple of changes that I'm making and um, because I have managed to get a video to you most Fridays there's been a couple that have been a little bit late like last week it did hit your inboxes on a Sunday rather than the Friday um, but and you didn't get a blog post it was just but it was my um, my pre-order from that catalogue um, which is 
oh, I love what, don't you just love watching what people buy? It's desperately sad, isn't it? But I do really enjoy it. Seeing what other people have spotted in the catalogue and um, have spent their money on. I really enjoyed it. And it actually gives me quite a lot of inspiration. And I hope that my video might inspire you as well. Um, so yeah, last week I managed, I, yeah, I didn't get a blog post on, but I did get the video up on the Sunday. But I have, because I've managed, I'm waffling, aren't I? Terribly today. Um, <laughs> because I've managed to get a video up to you every week, um, I'm going to start adding a few extra bits in. So um, that includes my email newsletter which is a little little bit neglected um but they are coming back hopefully weekly definitely every other week um very very soon so the sign up for that is also in the description bar um description box below and i would love to have some new subscribers if you are already a subscriber um do just complete the form again just to make sure i've got your details up to date um, and I will see you in your emails very, very soon. So I think that will probably do um, for now. I could I could cut them, cut all the pieces out, um, but that's probably not going to happen. So let's keep hold of those bits and get rid of all those bits that have come out of that there so card base again like i said before this is um coastal cabana i love this color um it's so pretty i lost my bone folder it's probably on my desk somewhere but i, I can't see it um and i'm gonna just grab some stamp and seal and pop this piece down on here like that now then let's have the backing off of this die cut so might need my and like can you see it's just like um like a sticker so it's got a backing on it it's com that's not sticky at all um but we do just need to take the backing off which you know is easy always easier said than done on video there we go hopefully it'll take some of those yeah some of those extra bits with it and i don't mind when you've got some bits stuck in i quite like that look um obviously you could take more time over it if you wanted and i'm gonna pop that straight down onto the front of my card and it just sticks because it's got that adhesive sheet on the back so pop that on there and I just love that white die cut sorry I think it's so pretty I have then got I've already like I said it before I have already gone ahead and heat embossed my sentiment um, that is white heat embossing on pale on um, polished pink ink and I've got three mini dimensionals on the back like so and I'm going to layer that over there like that then I've got the those other three little um, die cut pieces I'll put dimensionals on the back of those as well I love these these are the mini dimensionals so we've got two sizes of dimensionals the larger sized ones and the smaller ones and I actually use the smaller ones a lot um more than I thought I would um the littlest one is a bit of a tight fit let's see if I can get it to fit if I can get it to fit oh well yeah where we go yeah perfect so I'm gonna scatter these onto my card front just around that sentiment now my brain does rule of three I do a lot of rule of three when I'm card making um, and so I've got kind of odd numbers 
my bra yeah, your brain likes odd numbers. It, it, it nature does odd numbers as well. So we stick to three, and then one over there. So you've got it's kind of asymmetrical, which is always very pretty. And then I'm going to go back into that ephemera pack and grab those sequins. Now these are um, self adhesive. They've got um, glue dots already on the back. And they are sort of iridescent. They're very, very pretty. So I'm going to grab three of those. So one there. And then two up here. And that is my card for today. So like I said, you've got loads of inspiration. These will all be on my social media over the next probably couple of weeks, um, if they've not been there already. Um, and um, that is it. So if you want a copy of the new Stampin' Up! Mini Catalogue and Celebration, um, do let me know. Um, all the details for how to get your hands on this suite are over on my blog um, and my social media. Do follow me over on Instagram. It is at Stampin' by Hannah. Um, I'm posting a lot over there at the moment. I'm loving a bit of Instagram. Um, and I hope to see you again really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.